don't have any dogs barking or anything. Jim's there you go. You're on. We got Jim locked up in the back, so it's all good. <laughs> so I'm so excited that you, you guys are here. It's our first like joint team call, really, when we have like a bunch of us together. So super excited about that. Um, and Kim and I wanted to talk about conversations today. And I think it's something that probably a lot of us have talked about, but never really kind of dug into like the next layer of how to start a convo, how to take a conversation to that, all right, are you ready kind of conversation <laughs> and how to not scare them away. And I've been thinking about it for the past couple of days. And one thing that I really, really wanted to talk about first was the size of the funnel and how it affects those conversations. Because it's super, super easy to get frustrated if, you're got, if you've got two or three or four conversations going on and you're at that point. So not just conversations where you're just like, hey, da, 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 but I'm talking about, okay, you've uncovered their need, you understand what their goals are, you've possibly even um, used voice messaging, which I recommend highly. Um, you've possibly even asked them for a phone call, to a, a, a schedule a phone call, which I always do. Once I take it past, once they hear my voice on this, I'm like, you know what? Let's just talk. Just let, let's just schedule a time. I've got this and this time open. Okay. So the point being is that if you have got two or three or four or five of those going on, and you're feeling frustrated because you just feel like you're not doing the right thing, you're not saying the right thing, nothing's, nothing's, nothing's going to that bottom of the funnel. The main reason is because you don't have enough in the funnel. And Kim and I talked about this earlier, and we both said, like, how many people are currently in your funnel? And we can both share this because we, we're, we're hitting SD10 and we're hitting, we're hitting those numbers. My funnel is, is, I don't even know how many people are in my funnel. At any given time that I have people that I could schedule a call with or that I'm talking to on this or that I've gotten to that point could be 30, 40, 50. And then they keep running through the cycle. So if somebody is not ready this month, I'm like, hey, you know what? I've got a group starting in August. How about I reach out to you in a couple weeks? And there you're like, okay. I have 30 for August that I might be reaching out to. And if those don't go through, I'm like, hey, you know what? Like, I'll reach out to them. I've got a list. And I'll, like, a week before my next challenge group. So I just keep on adding to that list. And if they're not ready, they get added to the next list. <laughs> and it goes on and on and on. So if I have a list of, I don't know, 50 people that I may be asking to join my, they know exactly what the challenge group is. They've been in a free group. They know the routine. They know what I'm asking for. If you're ready to invest in yourself, are you ready? Let's do it now because the time is now. If you, if you postpone it, you're going to be regretting it in 30. I mean, like just, are you ready? And if they're not, I put them in the next month and I ask them again. So I could understand how easy and frustrating it would be if you've only got a couple people going on or conversations going on at that level. So the goal would be to try and get your funnel just overflowing. So every month you've got 10 new people, 20 new people, 30 new people. Um, with those numbers, I'm just, just hitting a C, right? So when you think about the odds for every 30 or 40 people I, I ask, I get three or four or five that are like, okay, I'm ready now. And you have to just keep on adding and adding. And that's really the only way to do it. So Kim wants to talk. And I'm going to let her say something. Just <laughs> to back you up, um, you know, they talk about, you know, at Summit and at Leadership and all this about, you know, the numbers game and the fact that the return in terms of your SC or whatever it is, is usually about 10% of the people that you're talking to at that moment. So if you're talking to 30 people, you're probably going to make success club. If you're talking to 10 people, uh, you're not. <laughs> so um, your funnel, I think, personally, has to be at least 30 people. And, you know, I know that our team has been running free groups for the last four months. And I know you guys are adding people to our group. So those are the people you should be talking to. So every single person on my team has at least, right now, 
30 people they can talk to because that's what we've been doing with our um, free groups. But I think that that is like the magic number, 30, magic number. Okay, I'm done talking. That's perfect. And, and that's funny that we both, we never discussed that number, but that's kind of like what I feel about my number right now. I have so many combos going on right now. And I'm like, are you kidding me? <laughs> yes, I'm ready. I mean, how many times are you going to hear that? Right. So it could be a year. It could be, can you not hear me? Julie, can you hear me? No. Do I need to talk louder? It, it went, no. Um, after Kim got done talking, your volume went down for some reason, so I don't know. You can hear me now? Yeah, I can hear you. Okay. I don't want to yell when you guys are like, ah! <laughs> so, um, so how, how do you get people in your funnel, right? Like randomly talking about, and I'll just say, someone saying something about my dad and his stroke, or talking about dogs, or talking about vegan, whatever subjects we talk to people randomly about, um, it takes a long time to get them to the point where you can actually say and feel comfortable, hey, you know what? You might be interested in joining this. So the biggest success, and I've been talking to the, to the team about this for a couple years, but I, I'm going to say it again out loud right now, is the free groups are really the key because you just never, ever know who's going to be in that free group. And you might have 30 brand new people you've never talked to. So I'm going to, I'm just going to use this as an example of my last free group. I had 30 brand new, I had 25 oldies. Oh, what do we call them? What do we call them? Old timers. Uh, <laughs> what, what, what's our, what's our word for them? They're veterans, our veterans who like are there, you know, they're awesome. Right. And you have 30 brand new people and they're seeing these veterans and they're watching what they're doing. I love having veterans in the free groups. And randomly they'll throw in Shakeology. Oh my gosh, I'm, I, my cravings are gone because of Shakeology. They just throw all this stuff in there. And you're like, oh my God, I love you, right? Um, so out of those 30 people I had in my last free group, I had about 15 who participated. Okay, so that's 50%. That's not bad, right? 15 sat and watched. They're still taking it all in, right? They're not just whatever. 15% participated, 50% participated, so I had 15. At the end of the, you know, I go live and I talk about, I really, really focus on the Shakeology benefits, kind of, but I don't ever say Shakeology. It's kind of like random. And at the end of the group, I said, okay, if you're ready for my 21-day group, this is what we're going to be doing. We're going to be focusing on nutrition. We're going to be drinking our healthy, uh, the healthiest meal of the day. We're all, and, the, and all the veterans are going, I'm in, I'm in, I'm in. Oh my gosh. And I have all these new people going, what, what, what? What is this healthy meal? What are you What are you guys talking about? Tell me more. Tell me more. So like it created this total. What is she talking about? And what are these people raving about? And that they lost all this weight and all this stuff. And out of those fifteen, I had conversations going on with all of them. Half of them fell out once you know I started you know kind of getting into the meat of the matter. <laughs> um, I had phone calls with half of those, and I ended up selling three challenge packs. So that's how the numbers worked. So out of 30, half actually participated, half actually were really, really interested, and half of those got the challenge pack. So that's how it breaks down. Mm -hmm. So if, unless you are getting all those new people into the groups, um, the numbers are, it's going to be super frustrating. And I totally, totally get it. I mean, I'm frustrated with looking at 15 people who are like, yes, I want in. And I'm like, three, really? <laughs> so I totally get it. But if you have two or three conversations going on, it's so easy to just focus on maybe how you feel you're not doing something right or what am I not saying or how am I not closing this deal? And it's not you. They're not ready. Truly, they're not ready. I have people who I don't say crap to and they're like, oh my God, I want in. Uh, I never even had a conversation and they just saw something and they, whatever. And I'm like, I, I certainly didn't make the sale. They were ready and they sold it to themselves by just watching me for a, a couple weeks. So don't, don't feel, don't take it hard because you think that maybe you're not, you're not saying the right thing. I, my, my thing is that you just don't have enough. Cause I can tell you, 
I could look at 20 people right now that I'm talking to and feel, what did I say wrong? Well, how did I not close them? They were so ready. Like, how did I not pick up on this or that or, you know, and beat myself up? But and instead, it's just like, find, find more people. Okay, Kim, go ahead. So two things. Um, I do agree with the fact that it's not some, usually not something you're saying, like it's not your problem that people aren't ready to commit. It's totally them, which I think is really important in terms of the um, not feeling rejected piece of talking to 30 people and 26 of them saying, eh. um, because it's not personal. It's all about them. And it's about the fact that they're not ready. Um, which is why you have to have numbers like that for, for your numbers to work. Um, oh shoot. I had another thought. Um, I should have written it down. Um, okay. I can't think. Continue. <laughs> That's okay. So I guess what I, I would love everybody to talk about their, their experience with inviting to free groups because I'm, I don't want to talk anymore, but I really want to hear from everybody like how they're, crafting those invites and how they're finding their new people and on average how that goes and you can just raise your hand if you want to just share because I'd love to hear how the free groups are going and if you need help with free groups that's why we're here so really I'll go <laughs> um so I appreciate so much first of all Patty and Kim that you're taking your valuable time for us tonight and that you narrowed it down to something so concrete because we all know that we listen to a lot of things where people are like, you know, you need to do this and you should, but they don't say specifically what to do. And that 30 number is just mind blowing to me. And it makes so much sense if you think about it. And yes, we have heard before, that 10% are going to sign up. So I have eight brand new people in my free group. Woohoo. Yeah. So I might get one successful point, you know, one, one person if I'm going to go for 10%, but that's not even, you know, that's like less than one person I should expect. So but, but, but let me just say, yes, that's true. But what about the last free group and the free group before that and the free group before that? Because I know you had people, I wasn't in it, but I'm assuming that you had people in there too. So now your funnel becomes a lot bigger. And that I think is something that happens on our team too, is that people minimize, not minimize, um, reduce their funnel to the people they're currently talking to. And no, you talk to people who you talked to two years ago. Okay, I'm done. I agree. Yes. I mean, that's, you know, one of my weaknesses is following up with people and keeping in touch with people and not using my um, connection builder as it's set up for its full effectiveness. So that, that's really all I have to say is that I feel like I got a kick in the pants tonight and I, I need those kind of things. I need somebody to say, you know, out of 30 new people, you might get this. So you need to shoot for, and I understand what you said about past groups, Kim, and, and our funnel, but going forward and, you know, still communicating with those people, I need to shoot for that target of having 30 brand new people in my free groups. So. Not necessarily though, just saying, you don't have to have 30 new people in your groups. You just have to have 30 people to talk to. And those people could come from people that you talked to last month the month before that so it's not oh, yeah I think if you get if you like oh gosh I'm having a free group and only eight people came it, that's actually good that's okay eight people is nice that's eight extra people you get to talk to but you know use I use paper and pen I mean you should see how many lists I have sitting around it's ridiculous yeah same with Patty I mean I don't use a system it's, only, it's yeah that's what mine looks like I've got like I've got four lists in in different places and um none of them are electronic <laughs> and I just keep going back to the darn list and one night I might be like I'm gonna go in this list and the next night I'll be like 
I'm going to work off this list. And like tonight, I'm going to work off my last free groups list, which I think I added 57 people to. And mm -hmm. I followed it with 15 last night. And I had four people who want to do our clean week. Oh, by the way, Lizzie, we're doing clean week. Um, <laughs> uh, I had four people that said, yeah, let's, I want to do it. And two of those people don't have beach body on demand, but I may not have a big group with this one just because you have to get something to do it, but it's still good quality people. And look back at those lists of people that you've used in past groups um, and reach out to those people. Always have something to invite to. Okay. Sorry. No, that's great. That's awesome. So I keep, I, yeah. I, keep um, I keep my pages by by month by everybody. I have January, February, March, April, May. I have I have who was in the group. I have you can do it you know in your Facebook group and you can copy and paste it and put it in a spreadsheet if you like. If you're more electronic, I'm just a little more hands on. Yeah, same thing. So I when I do a new group, I reach out to at least 10, 15, whatever in my previous groups and say, oh my gosh, I'm doing a new free group. Go on. I mean. And that new free group, so I had somebody in my January group that had not joined a group for six months, joined my June group, and was writing out a sound check. So, from January. Yeah, so it's it's just keep keep those lists however you can do it best. If you're better with electronics or you like the My Connection Builder, do it that way. I'm just, I, Kim and I both have just decided that's probably why we're good partners, so we just do it this old school way, and it seems to work, and I just flip through my book, and I'm like, oh, this girl in March, you know what, she was so ready, and I haven't reached out to her in like a month, I'm going to go back out to her, and I just flip through, it's just, I don't know, it just gives me good. <laughs> you guys obviously do not travel much, because <laughs> I could not take all of those notebooks with me everywhere. And that's one of the one of the things that I do talk a lot about is that I can travel as long as I have my phone in my back pocket. My my connection builder is there, so I couldn't put all those things in a suitcase. But I I travel a lot, so but good for you guys. Well, here's the other way, Julie. Is before you close a free group, um, cut and paste everybody into an Excel spreadsheet, however you would like to do it. And then you'll have an ongoing group that way and just say January, February, March and create a doc or however you want to create your doc with their name and their Facebook name or however you want to keep them and just keep on reaching back. So do what you can do electronically too. We're just yeah, my connection builder has that feature. So you can just say, uh, remind me to touch base with this person in one week, in two weeks, in three weeks. And you can, you know, put tags in there. They were in a free group. They were in a challenge group. They I, weren't in any group. So just need to use it. Mm -hmm. Use the tools. So, and Lizzie has words, but I want to tell you what I do with the free groups is, so this is a list of my, la of our last free group. And it's, and what, what happens on the list, it's six pages long. Um, we had 120 people in our last free group and they weren't all mine, but um, I print out the whole list and then it says on it, like it says Caro Forsat added by Kim Lyons Mitchell. So I know it's my person. And then I follow up with that person. And that's what I do after every free group is I print these lists out and then I follow up and I cross out the people that Lizzie added. And then um, I follow up with my people. So that way it doesn't get lost in the fray. All right, Lizzie has words. Um, so after our last, uh, last meeting two weeks ago, I went on YouTube and found a gal that had, um, cause I need, I need online stuff or like a Google Doc or something because I also travel all the time and I'm also very unorganized, um, extremely unorganized. And so what the, the most helpful one that I found was actually, it was stressful to me when I downloaded like Teamsy, for example, and it put in my entire Facebook. <laughs> I have like 3,000 friends or something on Facebook. I have a lot of friends. And <laughs> that was stressful to me to like have Teamsy just like, randomly generate a name for me to contact because I was like I would feel sketched out if somebody like contacted me like that and so that didn't feel genuine to me at all um, and so the the one I found on on YouTube and she also had a PDF of, of how or not a PDF an Excel sheet of how she does it um, but she basically just goes back to like the most previous post that she did and instead of random people she just types their names the people that either liked or commented because that way you know that they are already engaged 
on your page in some way, shape or form. And they're already watching what you're doing rather than just like randomly contacting some person that I haven't talked to in seven years who I, I don't know if they watch what I'm doing or care what I'm doing, but going back and writing down like 22 people liked my photo. For me, that's actually kind of a low number because theater people, I guess they just like to press like or whatever. And so like, <laughs> but that's 22 people that liked my picture that I could then just like say hi to, you know, and, and, and just start up a conversation. Um, and I've met up with, three people that I said I was going to meet up with. <laughs> One of them was right before this meeting. So that's, that's how I started doing it after our last group, um, after our last chat. Um, I just want to add to what Lizzie said too, um, that the consistency of your posting is enormously important. Um, you know, if, if you're posting here and there, um, people aren't going to see what you're posting and they're not going to know what you're doing. And they're going to be like, what the heck? Like, why would she run a free group? She did not do anything. Um, people need to be able to follow what you're doing. So you need to be posting regularly on what, I, I mean, I do basically three platforms, Facebook, like page, Facebook, personal and Instagram and do stories on all three of those. Now the same stories, but still, um, so that's super important. Um, and it's really important when you're adding people to free groups and you're offering free groups that you have been posting consistently, consistently so that people can trust you. And Lizzie's been doing a really good job of that. Awesome. Um, okay. So I would love to talk about the, the free groups and how you guys are getting people interested in the free groups. So if anybody would like to share, um, a post they did that worked or a post they did that didn't work or if you would like information or if you would like ideas on how to maybe post a, a free group invite there raise your hand okay good Lizzie. um so what i found is that it does not work for me to wait until the last minute at all um Every single free group over the last over a year that I've helped participate in in some way, the ones where I wait until Saturday or Sunday to tell people about it, I get three or four people or less than 10. And the ones where I do like a consistent week of, of like Monday, Wednesday, Friday or whatever, um, I always get like the last group I had like 28, I think, which is a lot for me. Um, and so that was not, so that happened in June. That was our, 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 our leg group. And I got like 28 people in that. And then this past month I got busy and waited until the last minute and posted on the weekend twice about it and got one person. <laughs> So I, I, you just, I don't know you, and, and this was said like before, like back in the first month that I was a coach about getting success club try, and the end of the month, like, and that the last minute people can tell when you're desperate, <laughs> it just comes through on your posts. It comes through in your conversations. And so I guess for me, the more that I just plan ahead and do it, early, um, the less desperate I sound and the more inviting I sound, for lack of a better term, the more, just the more like natural you are. And it's not like a big deal. It's not like, oh my God, I've got to hit success club. I've got to get people in this free group because it starts tomorrow. I've got to get people started in my challenge group because it starts on Monday and it's Friday now and I haven't done anything. People can tell when you're doing that. So what did you, um, how did you craft your post? Did you use a picture of you and what did you say? Yes, I, the, the best one I ever had, I planned it out like a week in advance. I was shopping for shorts and I took a picture of my legs and my ass in the mirror at a gap because I was trying on shorts and I was like, dang, these look good. And I know it feels stupid when you're like out in public taking pictures or making my boyfriend take pictures of me and stuff, I feel dumb. And 
sometimes I, but those are like literally the ones where I'm like having fun and it's a picture of me and it's not just a selfie. It's like an actual, you know, like picture of me doing something. Um, those are the ones that get the most, the one, the one with the leg post about how great I felt in my shorts because I was so happy that I've been working on my legs and, you know, really excited that I got to go short shopping and it didn't feel like an awful, you know, day. It was a great day. And that's literally 26 people commented that they wanted in. Wow. That's phenomenal. That's, that's, that's deep. What's, what was your most successful, Julie? Can you think back about a free group that you had just really good response to and maybe why you did? Um, I have, I've found that it's the opposite of what it was like a year ago where, you know, you'd put something and you'd put some graphic words on there and, you'd, you know, a cute picture of yourself. And just to use more everyday stuff, kind of like Lizzie said, so... Something uh, hits you when you're in the car and you take a picture or when you're out shopping or when you're at the grocery store and to relate that to your avatar. So I keep trying to speak to my avatar and, you know, that whole how she feels in her skin with her health and with her clothes. And those have been, you know, pretty successful. The other thing that I do, and I got this, I stole this from Patty, <laughs> was, um, I do this post uh, like the day before or the day up, not like the day before, like what, the, the day that you're going to add people just to get a few more people into my group. Uh, I say, hey, well, you know, we're getting started. <laughs> and if you, you know, just like you do, Patty, if you told me you want to be in the group and I forgot you or I missed you somehow, let me know. I get a ton of new people that way. I mean, not a ton, but I get another, you know, extra like the icing on the cake of the group. Uh, I usually get at least at least two or three, maybe four people extra on top of what who, who I already have in there just by telling people we're getting started, you know, because it gives them that urgency like, oh, something started and yeah. So um, most of them I've never even talked to before. <laughs> They're just like me. So that's what's worked for me so far, but I'm open to suggestions because I kind of went through a slump on three groups where they just weren't doing anything for me and I'm back doing them and they're, they're doing better now. Well, I would, that works for me every time. <laughs> <laughs> for me. But one other thing that I mentioned to our team before, and I'll, I'll mention it um, again, is that when I'm getting ready to do a free group or do an invite to a free group, and I know I have my groupies when I call them groupies that are going to be in it. So I've got my either discount coaches or my lifers that have been in my groups and they're awesome. Oh, hi. <laughs> oh, um, where's my son? I need my sunglasses. <laughs> Sorry. I'm waiting on my old piece. Um, so right before I'm getting ready to do a post, I craft a small little, hey, I'm getting ready to do my invite for our next group. If you can jump in and say I'm in, it will help other people see it and we'll get, we'll get a bigger, funner group. Like just something really positive. Like, and every time they're like, and I post that post and they're like, I'm in, oh my God, join me, I'm in. And then what happens is, of course, what happens with Facebook, they're like, oh, this is a valid post. People are seeing this and I get all kinds of people, their friends and friends of friends and it ends up being, you know, 50 people are commenting on it. So um, I never put it out there unless I let people know ahead of time, I'm going to do this because we need the help. You know, Facebook mm -hmm. is tricky. <laughs> Those algorithms, right? So don't forget to do that. Thank don't forget you. to reach out to your success partner. Don't forget to reach out to your mom. I don't care who they are. <laughs> Just say, hey, I'm putting this out there. And if you comment on it, it's going to help. It's going to help get people, you know, and I just say it helps me help more people. And the more people we have in the group, the better and the more fun it is for everybody. And who wouldn't want that? Like my, my people never question that. They don't question my motives at all, ever. They, they want to help me. So anyway, does that make sense? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So yeah. put an invite out there. If you're going to put it out there, then reach out to your besties and say, help, help a girl out. <laughs> so do you guys, um, Patty and Kim, do you have, uh, free groups that are your better ones, like topics or 
you know, geared around something that are always more successful than other things? Because I know we're always trying to think of new ideas. Yes. I'll go first. Um, my abs and sugar, sugar, you know, kick sugar to the curb groups are always the best. I did, um, I did a leg and booty one last time and it was, it was good. And I got some people um, moved over for sure. Uh, but cleaning kind of like, I don't know, cleaning's okay, but man, abs and sugar detox is big. Your sugar group from like two years ago, you, you and Julie had, I, I got to join it because of oh, Kim. Yeah. <laughs> it was awesome. I that still was fun. <laughs> I still remember one of those graphics with the donut. People are amazing. They don't understand, you know, what sugar does to their bodies. And when when you add value to their lives like that, and they're like, "Oh my God, this girl knows her shit," and you know, and you start really sharing the value of, of what what all you what, all you have. And I always circle it back to. Shakeology, and we talk about sugar cravings, and I'll be darned if every single time those challengers don't just jump in there and say, "Oh my gosh, I used to have cravings like crazy, but Shakeology's you know totally cured me of that." I never even tell them to do it, and the next thing you know, I'm getting a private message it's like, "What's Shakeology?" <laughs> it's like I don't even mm -hmm. have to, I don't have to go up there and say, "Okay, the reason we did this group is because I'm trying to sell you something." You know, I never even have to go there. I don't like going there. Um, you know, so it kind of happens organically, and that's just the best way for it to happen. Mm -hmm. um, you want to throw in anything, Karen, Melissa? Kim, are you? Go ahead. Uh, oh, um, no, my best ones are the fitness ones, the like five and six day fitness ones. The food ones don't always go as well. I've done Shakeology ones too. Those really suck. Um, <laughs> but um, we're going to do clean week this next one. I'm assuming it's going to be a smaller group because there's a step involved in doing it. And that would be getting a 14 day free trial and it does involve your credit card. So I would assume it's going to be a smaller group, but that's okay. I'm totally fine with that. Um, the other one that does really well for us is crock pot cooking. It just does. All right. I'm going to let Karen talk. Well, this, this week I'm doing a fitness one too. And I, I do like a daily fitness video and I'm using, doing weightlifting. My, my uh, focus was weightlifting because of the four I'm doing, I've been doing that for two weeks now. So I think people enjoy that and they like the videos every, every day. So those are my more, more successful. Are you creating, you're creating a video and doing it yourself? Yeah, I am. And how many people do you have in your group right now? I have 12. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah. That's great. And they're either former, they've all been in my free group before. So there's like half and half that are on Shakeology and half that are not. So, so half, half new people. Yeah. And then you do you, what do you do? Do you wait a week and then start a 21 day group or how do you transition? No, Julie and I do, uh, do one together. We have been the last couple of months and our next 21 day starts Monday. So. We kind of have, we don't have just not very much time at all in between. <laughs> so you close out, you close out your, your free group on Saturday. Fr on Friday. I close mine on Fridays and then we start our, our uh, 21 day group on Monday. Yeah. Okay. Is that what you guys do too? Go ahead. <laughs> um, I give them, I, I close and I give them five days. So you're doing no groups for those five days? Oh, and I freaking need it. <laughs> no, I do. Um, I close my groups on a Saturday or a Sunday usually. And then my challenge groups don't start till the third week of the month. Um, so my free groups are the first week of the month. And then the challenge group starts the third week of the month. So the challenge group is still going on while the free group is going on. Because mine are 30 days. It's seven days of prep and 21 days of challenge. Um, so mine are still going on. And um, if somebody wants in, which is fine, you put you in. You don't have to start when we start. You know, it's fine. Um, but I think having two weeks to have those conversations and to develop a relationship and get to that point where you're talking about stuff, I think it takes seven to ten days. 
So then you're stressed out. If you have them back to back like that, I think it stresses you out because then you're like, Oh crap, nobody's joining my group. Well, you know, if we do this every single month, the same way, first week, free group, third week, paid group every single month. And I just, I wait a week. So mine's a little different, but I still have that week to talk to them. And so you have two weeks. So your challenge, your, your challenge group has two weeks off then. No, right? no, no. Patty's not yours, Kim. Mm -hmm. Yes. No. Yours does. And every, ah. every single person that's in the 21 day group, every single one just about goes into the free group. So I've got all these super hyped up, super people who have lost 20, 15 pounds, 20 pounds, whatever they've lost. They join the free group. Welcome. Mm -hmm. I love that. And then I've got pretty new people and they're all seeing these people with all these results and they're going, what? So I like the way that is. I like to take them and put them in that free group. And they love that five days and they take a, they take a week off. It's good for everybody to regroup. They don't get burnout on groups and that they want to come back into the 21 day group because they're still doing Shakeology. They get to come back in and then the new people come in. So I, I, I personally, because I craft, uh, Kim is really automated in her her, her group, she's much mm -hmm. more automated and much more, control, you know, <laughs> I'm a little more free flowing in my groups. So I spend a little, probably a little too much time on my posts and comments. Are we almost out of time? Are we almost out of time? I was just <laughs> saying that you're a circle. You're just more free flowing in general. <laughs> I'm a square. It's yeah. all planned out. <laughs> if Lizzie would have done that whole thing, she'd have been a circle too. So I, I, I enjoy having that week and having like half and half and it really helps the, um, everybody just get excited. Cause if you have like all new people in a free group, they're like, I don't know what to do, I, whatever. So Kim, go ahead. One minute. I know. I know. Next time I'll do it so we have an hour. <laughs> I know. This is good though. This is super good. All right. So Melissa hasn't talked. Do you want to add, add anything? Are you good? No, you good? <laughs> okay, well, thank you guys for coming, and I'll put the recording um, in my team page, Patty, and then you can grab the um, URL off of it for YouTube and um, share it to your team page. Thank you, and we'll do this again in two weeks if that sounds good with you guys. Yep. We'll can, every, can everybody wave so I can take a picture of you? We'll build those funnels. Let's get those funnels, like, huge. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Bye, guys. Okay.